G'day, g'day, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Darwin Mountain Bike Life. So, um, yeah, the, this is actually my first ride in a few weeks. Um, I've been uh, moving house, so uh, which is always fun. I absolutely hate it, um, but hopefully uh, this is the last time I have to move for a while. So, um, this is my first ride. Um, what I've decided to do is uh, come out and do uh, Spokes Trail and then the old Pine Forest. I've actually ridden from my house. Um, I've done uh, a bit over four kilometres already, which is really good. So, um, I've just come down to check out a little bit of work because um, we've got a river flowing over Spokes Trail and it's a little bit, oh, it's not too wet, but okay, it's wet, but it's not too squishy. Um, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> this is our little river. Um, so, um, we came through, oh, yeah, Pete came through before and uh, put down these grates, um, but yeah, apparently they, uh, tend to flip up on you um i don't know that's not moving too much um yeah so um what i'll uh, tell you about today is just a few little tips of uh what i do anyway um after uh you know having a bit of a hiatus from the bike so but anyway let's get rolling first things first let's uh get some more traction in this front tire So um, my first tip is, uh, and this is even well, well before you ride, don't be so hard on yourself, be kind to yourself. Life gets in the way sometimes. Uh, we are not, uh, the majority of us are not professional riders. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got other commitments. We can't make our money, uh, you know, make our living off of uh, riding every day like some of the professionals. So, you know, as life gets in the way, don't be hard on yourself. Just, you know, go, yep, I've had a break. I've had a good break. Um, I've got some stuff done and, uh, you know, now I'm going to uh, get back into my riding. So uh, that would be the first tip I'd give. Um, the second tip is, uh, yeah, again, when you get out on the bike, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, you've, um, like those professionals I was talking about before, they have teams of, like, trainers and, you know, physios and masseuses and mechanics and everything. So you don't, um, you know. Uh, so... You know, when, you're, uh, when you've had a break, um, those guys actually have people to help them get back into it. You don't. So, you know, just go out, have fun. That's what mountain biking's all about. So, um, another tip as well, um, uh, bring some little nibbles with you, um, you know, depending how long your ride is, you probably should anyway. Um, you know, if you go too hard too fast, uh, like too, too hard too quick, um, you get a bit of a lactic acid build up. So, um, you know, just take it easy, you know, enjoy the ride. It's not about, you know, hammering it out and, you know, uh, making yourself crook. Like, uh, yeah, so, you know, take it easy, bring some nibbles, you know, make a bit of an afternoon of it. Or a session of it. Um, so, um, another thing I'd like to, to mention as well, and this actually happened to me. So, um, if you have a hard ride, don't just go, oh, that's it, and give up. Um, it doesn't. That doesn't help you. It doesn't help your bike. It doesn't help. Um, you know, it doesn't help anyone. Um, so, uh, classic example of that. When I was about 15 or 16 years old, I was running around a high school one day, um, and I dislocated my shoulder. Um, got ankle tapped, went over, dislocated my shoulder. So um, what that meant was I had to have a good three months off of the uh, uh, BMX. I was racing a lot of BMX as a kid then. And I was actually doing all right at it. Um, so I had the three months off and, you know, I was, you know, doing silly things. And, you know, when I went to go back to BMX, so I raced my very first race. I put in 110 percent um and you know i got over the finish line and then i lifted up my helmet and roused my guts out um and i just went no nah, bad ride too hard and i didn't touch a bike for 
you know, probably a good 15 years after that, um, which is one of the worst things possible. So, you know, just because you have a hard ride, don't give up. Go and, um, go and do it again. And they will get better. All right, one last tip before we uh, continue on is, um, you know, uh, don't go crazy on all the big stuff and, you know, the stuff where you'd be pushing yourself. Um, so, you know, um, like, take it easy. You've had a bit of time off. So, you know, there's a bit of a drop here. Um, you can take the beeline. The thing is, I am still going to do this drop. I am still confident with this drop. Um, I do it every single time. But if I'm going to try and do something where I'm trying to, um, you know, push my limits, then, um, you know what? Don't. Today's not the day. You know, you've just had some time off. Enjoy it. <laughs> Woo! Oh. oh shit So uh, before we continue on, um, I just wanted to let you know I've actually got a new bike arriving. So I'm getting a Marin uh, Team, which is their XC bike. So I'm getting the Team 1, which is the uh, base model. Uh, I'm going to ride that around for a little while and then I'm going to uh, upgrade it uh, with uh, bits from uh, CycleZone here in Darwin. So um, if you want to check out uh, Bicycles Online, where I'm buying the Marin from, just go down to the description below. Um, there'll be some links in there and um, yeah, you know if you uh, like one of their bikes check it out if you want to get a Trek or Giant or Specialized or One of those other um, you know big box but good brands, um, you know check out your local bike shop So, you know, um, we've got a fair few of them here in Darwin. They do sell all that stuff There's even one just over the way that sells Rocky Mountain um, Yeah, so yeah, it's great Can't wait So I've uh, arrived out here now at the uh, Old Pine Forest, so uh, Spokes Trail was great. Um, yeah, there was a few spots that were pretty boggy, so I don't know. Um, I might try and get in there and try and fix it up a bit. Um, we'll just see how we go, you know, I'm still trying to get back into the riding. Uh, so one thing uh, before I continue on is um, I was going to tell you the importance of electrolytes, especially up here in our tropical heat. So um, we do get a lot of... Maybe I won't tell you about the electrolytes. Maybe someone left the electrolytes at home. Alright, cut. Alright, so um, yeah, just wanted to tell you about the uh, importance of uh, you know keeping your energy levels up when you're out on a ride. So what I did was I brought a banana. Um, so just before I continue on uh, in the old pine forest here, I'm going to eat up this mushy banana that's been sitting in my backpack and getting nice and warm and mushed up. So um, I don't know what it is. I think it's a potassium or something that's actually, um, I don't know, just absolutely great for um, an energy boost and a long lasting energy boost. So I think it's something to do with the potassium. Anyway guys, I'm going to chow down on this and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy.
So uh, one thing I just want to show you. Now, I'm pretty sure I've actually shown you these before. Is, uh, so these uh, pine uh, oh, palm trees of some sort, they've got all these spikes that come down the side. And um, they're absolutely everywhere up here in Darwin. So um, I did actually go past one before um, that was about the right height. And yep, it got me. Um, so, uh, that'll be fine, you know, the bleeding stopped, I will, um, you know, when I get home, I'll make sure I wash it properly, maybe put a bit of antiseptic on, you know, we are in the tropics, so, you know, um, infections do, uh, do happen and they can happen, uh, more regularly than they would in other places, so, anyway guys, rock on. And we are in the tropical wet season. So uh, I apologise for the crappy footage, um, but it has started raining. We are in our tropical wet season, so um, I can either cut out to Howard Springs Road over there, or I can just finish the old uh, pine forest, um, which I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the old pine forest, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I set myself a goal today. That's another little tip I can give you. Set yourself some goals, some achievable goals. So, you know, it's, it's not high winds, there's not lightning around, it's just a bit of rain, so I'm pretty safe. Um, so I'm just going to continue on and uh, yeah, let's jump on the San Quentin and go. Okay, uh, the circumstances have changed quite drastically. Um, it is absolutely pouring now, um, as you can see. And um, yeah, there is thunderous bolts of lightning. So um, I'm not going to muck around anymore. I'm going to get out of here right now. Alright, so I'm uh, out of the old pine forest and uh, back out on Howe Springs Road. The visibility is pretty crap, so I'm going to be staying well away from the road. Um, and yeah, so uh, yeah, the whole idea is just to get home safely. Alright guys, let's do it. <laughs> 